Welcome to Pies of March, and this is a collaboration put on by Kettle Kitchen and Mennonite Farmhouse. Every day in March, you're going to have a new pie video. It might be a savory pie or a sweet pie or a hand pie, but regardless, it will be a great recipe. And you want to watch every single one of those videos and comment on each one because on April 3rd on Mennonite Farmhouse's channel, she'll have a drawing for a $100 Visa card and door prizes. And it'll be picked from one lucky commenter. So be sure you're watching all the videos. And to help you, I have the playlist listed below and the rest of the videos for the month. So you won't miss a single one. Now, today, I saw this pie and I thought, ah, oh, it sounds so good. It's cinnamon roll Dutch apple pie. And it looks so simple. It's a Pillsbury recipe. And I have a link down below too if you want the recipe. And I thought, oh, it looks gorgeous. I've got to try this. So I had a little problems along the way. Yep. My husband bought the wrong cinnamon roll when I sent him out to the store. It should have been the one that has more like the cinnamon chips in it. And there's eight rolls in a package. But that was my mistake. I didn't tell him. He thought he was buying the better one by buying the Cinnabon ones. But let's see if we can make it work. So this recipe really doesn't have many ingredients. It's got your cinnamon rolls, your apple pie filling, and it's the kind with more fruit, quarter cup pecans that are already diced up, two tablespoons of butter, and you want that cold, one-fourth flour, one-fourth brown sugar, and we're going to need to have a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's it. So you're going to want to open a can of cinnamon rolls. Okay. And keep your icing here. Now, we're just going to let these sit out a minute, for about 10 minutes. Then they'll be easier to put in our pie plate. And while we're waiting, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. There we go. And I'm going to put the butter back in the refrigerator because we need it cold. Okay, we want it cinnamon side up. You know what? I think we need a smaller pie plate. Let's try this one instead. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Now we got it. I have to smoosh it out. So there's no gaps in between. I'll be back. Okay, that should work pretty good. I think my husband brought me the wrong cinnamon rolls because it talked about having eight. So I think it was supposed to be the smaller ones. But hey, we can make this work. Now we're going to pop it in the oven for 10 minutes. Hey, let me introduce myself. I am Prepper Potpourri, and I have a channel that sometimes has cooking and has prepping advice and gardening advice and taking care of chickens, just a variety of subjects. So check out my channel, subscribe, and click that little bell icon. I would really appreciate it. Now we have to make our streusel topping. And we want our 
one fourth teaspoon cinnamon. And then we're going to want our butter. Now you can use a fork or a pastry blender, whatever you want. You just want to blend all of this in. And we'll be back when we have that done. Here we have it. Now we're just going to set that aside. But today, for some reason, I even had problems following a recipe. Okay, and I made another mistake. I can't believe it. How hard is this recipe? I shouldn't have put the chopped pecans in until after I thoroughly worked the butter in to the flour and the brown sugar and the cinnamon. But it seemed to turn out okay anyway. You want to just, oop, it got a little cinnamon in it, didn't it? Okay, we just want to get it out of here and put it in a microwave site. Microwave safe dish. I'll we'll just cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm not feeling good about these rolls on the bottom. We'll have to see. Put in there. This on top, I guess. Smother it in. I guess we'll wish for the best. Put on our topping. And make sure our toppy is spread over everything as much as we can. Make sure it doesn't get too brown. We're going to do the edges in a little bit of foil. And I always have problems with these staying on. put this in the other pie plate to see if that uh, will help it in case it starts to overflow. Now we're going to pop it back in the oven for 20 to 23 minutes. Okay, I'm going to put the pie in the oven and to be honest, I'm a little scared because it seemed to really swell up and just is it going to be okay? I don't know. You'll have to watch and see. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, it's out of the oven. I did it for about 25 minutes. Now we gotta let it cool for an hour. Now I've heated the frosting in the microwave. And now we're just going to drizzle some on. Yeah. There we have it. Now we'll just let that solidify and then it'll be time for a taste test. Certainly looks good. 
kind of afraid to cut into it. Let's see. Well, not as pretty presentation there, kind of fell apart, but let's do a taste test. Okay, so here I want to make sure I get some of the actual cinnamon crust, apple. Mmm. This is really good. It kind of tastes like a turnover, like an apple turnover. Hmm. Maybe I have to get a little bit with a streusel on top. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for all the problems I had making it, it still turned out great. If I turned out better, if you follow the recipe and buy the right cinnamon rolls. But this is a great, easy pie that you can make up for your family. And let me tell you, they will be impressed. It would be great for a brunch or for dinner dessert. Either one would be fantastic. So try making this cinnamon roll Dutch apple pie and keep on watching all the pies of March. And remember, comment on each video.